welcome to the Carolina Sports District, the number one youth sports show in the Carolinas. Give me a T, give me a C, give me an S, give me a D. TCSD, let's go! Now what a fantastic Saturday we had last weekend. Great games on all fields. Today we'll let you know who was the winner of the game of the week and we'll also announce our current pound for pound top 20 rankings. But you know what comes first? Let's do those highlights. First we go to Eastway Middle where the Pee Wee East Mech Tar Heels took on the Falcons. Heels up 20 to 0, Falcons number 4 breaks for a 50 yard touchdown and he is gone. Heels get a little upset and let number 89 handle the anger as he goes for a 40 yard touchdown. Later that speedster number 21 goes for a 6 yard touchdown to put this game in the books. Falcons lose 6 to 47. The older guys, 14 new Steelers, challenge the Panthers who haven't lost in years. Panthers score early as number 48 runs in from five yards out. Steelers answer later in the game with a nice 60 yard touchdown pass to number five. Panthers give a pass for a pass as they score in the air this time from 10 yards out by number 80. Panthers win six to 27. We now move on down to Rocky River High School where we had a lot of exciting games. In the prep division, we had the Patriots take on the Valentine Gators. With a scoreless first quarter, Gators complete a 15-yard touchdown pass to number 28. Later, the Gators' number one quarterback sneaks for a touchdown, that one from one yard out. Patriots look to come back with its air attack, but the Gators were just too much for them this time. Patriots lose 0-13. to Same teams, JV division. In a great defensive game, we go all the way to the fourth quarter where the Gators number five makes a great catch for 20 yards. A little tip drill action there by number 18. This game goes into overtime. Patriots hold Gators with a big hit on the quarterback. The very next play, Patriots running back breaks some tackles and heads right for the end zone. Patriots win 6-0 in a very tight match. Now to the highly anticipated varsity matchup between the two undefeated and pound-for-pound -pound ranked teams. Whew, here we go. Gators strike first as they score from four yards out. Later, Gators number 24 takes it to the house for 30 yards. Gators up 12-0 at the half. Patriots finally get on the board with an 18-yard quarterback boot by number 12 for a touchdown. Extra point was good. Patriots later go with a quarterback draw, this time from two yards out. Patriots take the lead now, 14 to 12. Gators begin to make a march as they get deep into Patriot territory. With two minutes left in the game, Gators looking unstoppable until this fumble. Patriots hold on to this one, winning 14 to 12. Now to the Prep Vikings versus New Birth. Newberth quarterback number four. Quarterback sneaks in for a touchdown. He later scores again on a seven yard touchdown. The next score was not by number four for this time, but it's still worth six points. History was made on this fumble, but for the offense as number one picks up the fumble and takes it 50 yards for a touchdown. The first touchdown scored on Newberth all year. Woo. Vikings still lose though, six to 26. Same teams, JV division. Vikings score early in the air with an eight yard pass. Newberth later tied it up with a touchdown by number one. In the very next series, Vikings number six reminds the world why he wears the number six as he takes it 55 yards for a touchdown. Late in the game, a great dive for the end zone by Newberth. Next play, they score to tie up the game. Vikings attempt first and they get the touchdown from two yards out. Extra point was good. Newberth on fourth down gets in from one yard out. Newberth has the option to go for the tie or go for the win. They go in the air, but the ball is batted down. Vikings win in a thriller 19 to 18. 
we go later into the evening where the varsity Longhorns took on the Panthers. Panthers take care of business early with a 19-yard throw and catch touchdown to number five. Panthers quarterback later scores from 45 yards out on a quarterback draw. Panthers are just too much for the Longhorns today, winning big 44-0. Now, I know you've probably been wondering who we chose as the game of the week. There were some fantastic games. We're not going to lie about that one. Some great games out there, but for this particular game, there was a lot on the line. Two undefeated teams, two ranked teams, two great, great amounts of talent and ability on that field. The game of the week that we chose for this past weekend were the Varsity Gators versus the Patriots. Now, because the Patriots were located outside of Charlotte, we were unable to make their practice. If they would get in touch with us, we will send the reward for the player of the game. But congratulations to both teams. Great job, Gators, and great job, Patriots, stealing that win and putting it in the record books for another great game of the week. The playoffs are starting for most of the leagues. We will not choose a game of the week just yet. No, 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 no. We want to see what kind of talent you're going to bring to the field. And when we see the games that we think deserve to be called the game of the week, we will show up at your practice with a little Halloween treat. Now, will you be the winners of the game or will we have to bite off your heads? <laughs> My, that was delicious. Now on today's show, we will debut the very last week of our regular season pound for pound top 20 rankings. Take a look. We'd like to say congratulations to the Prep New Birth Steel Eagles for finishing the season number one in our pound for pound top 20 rankings. We've got a little something special under our sleeves, so keep an eye out for TCSD. Now, as we go into playoffs, we will switch up our pound for pound top 20 rankings. We will not update our pound for pound top 20 rankings playoff edition until the end of the playoffs after the championships have been played, where we will announce the number one of all number ones. This week's tip of the week is to remember not to eat too much of that Halloween candy. Now, we're just as excited about Halloween as you guys are, but we must remember that all that sweet and yummy goodness is not always the best thing for us. It's great to have a little bit of the candy, but remember to still eat your protein, still get hydrated, and still get lots of rest, as we've told you before, so you can put your best foot forward in these playoff games. The full game of any highlight that you see on this show, both the edited and non-edited versions, are available for purchase on our website. Booking information is also on our website. Make sure to continue to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, come and see us every Friday evening right here on YouTube. And there you have it. Mm -hmm.